I think it's really important to have a Women's Squash Week um, right here in America and also the initiation of this uh, week to, to um, recognize women in sport and women in squash. Uh, we want to actually try and enc encourage more women to play squash and to also see how uh, our uh, female squash players on tour as uh, so athletic and so vibrant and energetic and they work just as hard as the men on tour so it's really great to uh, pay tribute to all the women uh, who love squash and also more women to actually take part in um, playing the, the sport as well. When I was growing up, uh, definitely um, the player on tour was Sarah Fitzgerald. Uh, she was the, the world, world number one world champion and uh, she was definitely someone to, to aspire to and also coming through with my mentor and coach Liz Irving being former world number two and world champions for Australia. She has taught me so much and uh, the experience she had was something to really emulate and, uh, and be a, and admire. And also Susan Devoy being the ultimate um, uh, champion and um, being reigning for a uh, world, world number one for the longest time and Hannah McKay. So all these who is like 21 years unbeaten in like probably for any sport, uh, whether it's men or women, she's the ultimate athlete. Uh, and I think all these women played a role in my aspiration to be the best player I can be as an, and a female role model for the next generation. Um, yeah, I mean, I think obviously hugely important brings a little bit more exposure to that side of the game and, um, you know, people who maybe wouldn't be aware that squash is, is there and can sort of help you get fit and stay healthy and, um, you know, get women involved in doing something that's a little bit different to just running on a treadmill and I think it just brings a little bit of awareness to that, what's going on. I think it's, it's huge to have role models, um, you know, like for the young girls growing up to be able to look up at the top of the women's squash game and see not only hopefully professional, you know, athletes, but also what people who are completely different in personality. I mean, the personality difference between sort of myself and Noor and Raneem and Camille and, you know, all the girls, got um, Nuran and um, Amanda and Nicole, like we're all a completely separate personalities, completely different. We all bring something completely different to the court in our own way. And, um, you know, you hear a lot of young girls talking about who their role model is, who their favorite player is, and it's always for different reasons. So, um, yeah, I think it's hugely important that, you know, that there's a huge diversity in the top of the women's game at the moment and everyone's, um, you know, flying their flag for their own sort of, for their own sort of personality in, their own, in, the, in a way. Um, it's a, it's a, of great importance. I think, one of the most intimidating things is just getting started and just walking into the club and saying, oh, I, I want to try this, or even more so, just if you've never seen it before, having the opportunity to be exposed to it. Um, I was actually just down in uh, Tennessee at a club in Chattanooga uh, that's just opened, and obviously squash is kind of a little more quiet down in the south, and uh, we opened it up and we had 18 women there who had never, either never played squash before or had only been exposed to it a little bit. And um, they were offering free free clinics throughout the rest of the week um, to, to help them try and get into it. And it was incredible, the turnout. They all signed up to go and, and do more clinics afterwards. And honestly, it's, it's an incredible way, not only to expose women to the sport and to get more people playing, but also to, to it showcases how great our sport is by by it's it's so accessible and having people, you know, really really interacting with the community. I think is a very special part of squash, and I think that those types of the, these types of initiatives gets gets our community out there and gets the kind of the the, the vibe and the feel. Of, of what squash is really about out there. So I think they're, they're so important. Um, I'm very proud, I'm so proud that, you know, especially I know that US Squash has made an, a, a big effort to, to try and, and start that movement and push that movement. Um, and it, it's wonderful to compete in a sport that, that honors not just, it's not, it's not just women and men, it's, it's athletes. You know, that's, I, that's kind of my, my thing is, you know, I don't like it saying like the, the men and the women, it's like, no, we're all athletes and we're all fighting out there. We're all putting ourselves on the line every day to go and compete. And I think that it's, you know, 
I would love the day when equality isn't even a thing. It just is. You know, it's not something we have to talk about. It's not something we have to raise awareness about, but it just is because at the end of the day, we're all athletes. But I will say I'm super proud to be part of a sport that, that is fighting to have that day come.